Hey guys, let's take a look at number 70, climbing chairs. We're climbing on chairs, it takes n steps to reach the top, okay? Each time we either climb one or two, how many, how many six way can we climb to the top? Well, it's just, this is a typical dynamic programming. This problem, uh, if you want to go to the top the stair, we must get either to the, the one stair below it or the second step below it, right? Because we only can jump either one or two. So we need to first get the answers of how we can get to the five, two steps, uh, two steps under it, under the target. Well, it's uh, the typical, it's a typical question. So we just uh, do it from the first step and second step and just uh, do it iteratively. Iteratively, so we used dynamic programming. The first step, uh, the first step was only one possibility, right? So the second step, it will be two possibility, right? Okay, now let's say for let i equals three, i is smaller than n plus plus. Hmm. Okay, dp array and feel zero. That's okay. dp zero equals equals zero with one. dp one equals uh one. dp this the first item will just be ignored. So this equals two. And it would be dpi equals dp i minus minus one plus dp i minus two. This is now we found that it's actually uh, the Fibonacci array, right? And finally, we turn dp n. Hmm, it should work. Let's submit. I, I tried this problem a month ago. Yeah, it's good, but uh, it's not fast. How can we improve it? Uh, the DP method is, I think it is nothing to, nothing we can improve. One thing is that actually we, we can uh, improve the space, right? We don't need to keep all the results. We only keep the previous one and the second one yeah, yeah, we can use uh, an array that contains only uh, two elements. Yeah, let's do that. So, okay, the first item would be if it is zero, then it's one, and the second one is one, right? STP one is one. Okay, so if let i equals two, And uh, from n and the dp a const result equals dp zero plus dp one, and then we will say dp shift dp push result, and finally we return dp one, which is which means. When we get to the next result, the previous one it doesn't matter, it matter anymore. So we can just keep 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 looping through the result and uh, using the, only these two items. It should it should work too, right? Wow, it's slower. Mm, maybe the shift and push is a problem, or we use direct assign. Uh, zero equals dp one. Dp one equals result. How about it? Oh, this time is faster. So maybe the the array maybe the addition as a slow. Anyway, so that's all for this problem. It's a typical dynamic pro 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 programming. Uh, dynamic programming. It's O N. Yeah. All right. 
every number is traversed for only once. Okay, that's all for this problem. See you next time. Bye-bye.